I'm just gonna level with you right now. They have a warrant for yep. bull. Yep. They probably won't extradite you. He has a warrant for a post adjudication roll warrant. $500. I am Deputy Canzona and I am a patrol deputy out in Santan Valley. I was playing Division One college soccer up at NAU when I was studying criminal justice and decided that law enforcement is the route that I wanted to go. So I started with another agency. People say the grass isn't greener, but I've had nothing but success at Pinal County. They've sent me to any trainings I've wanted to go to. All the people here are welcoming. Uh, Sheriff Lamb says it's a family here and it really is. It's home and I would not want to go anywhere else. You doing better? Taking care of yourself? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Keeping your life together? Yeah, well, what's up? Yeah, you got a warrant, brother. You're kidding. Stay cool with me. I've always been cool and we respectful went, to you. Yeah, we I know. We Let me look, okay? I'm going to detain you right now. Let me look it all up and we'll go from there, all right? Well, so I'm gonna have you. Best. Just leave this here. We're just going to go to the back of my car right now. I don't even know if I'm going to confirm it, okay? I got to put you in cuffs, though. Yep, just face your car right now. Yep. Hey, stay cool. I ran him to see if it was extraditable. It's not extraditable. I'm going to let you go. You need to call their courts and get it taken care of, okay? But get that fixed for me, okay? I'm, I know. Yeah, just I call him. All right, step out. I'll get you out. You're good. And I'm going to get him the information for who to call and what court to go to. I wanted to do law enforcement because I love helping people. The calls are different. You never know who you're going to deal with, what types of calls you're going to go to. We're the first people that they call when they need help. We're on scene most times before fire is for medical or for um, when someone's passing out or someone's overdosing. We're the first ones there that are on scene to save their lives on the worst days that they could possibly imagine were there to help them. So you ran the curb over back there. Yeah. You never know if you're going to a drowning, a house fire, a simple theft. You really just have to be open-minded and be prepared for anything. It really just keeps you on your toes and keeps this job exciting. A lot of other jobs can help people, but they don't go into those burning buildings where we every day put on this vest to protect and serve our communities.